Well, as the proud leader of a what-if imaginary fictional Malagasy 1 in 70 second state, I was really reluctant to uh, sell the soul of my state and its sovereignty to the Americans with the F-35. So I decided to do it with the F-32 instead. Now the F-32 is actually my favourite aircraft. I'm really not a big fan of the um, F-35. I just don't gel with it for some reason. I prefer the Raptor or the Mantella as it is here and the KF-21, I just do. Um, anyway, um, this is a little story about um, how to put things right with your best friends. Now, the 1 and 72nd Malagasy's have been best friends of America since 1945, um, when they um, were liberated from 1942, served alongside the Americans, ended up involved in the Vietnam fiasco, but they've always been good friends with the Americans. So the decision to replace their Tomcats with the Rafale um, was somewhat surprising. Um, they didn't want to buy the Bornet, and they still don't have any Bornets. Um, but um, the Rafale was the better aircraft, and they went with the Rafale. And um, the Americans weren't very happy about that. They said, um, well, what's going on with the uh, specialist relationship, the specialist relationship that we have? And uh, the Malagasy said, well, the Bornet isn't as good as the Rafale. Fair point. Um, however, the US Navy does have lots of other assets which make up for the Bornet's um, lack of range. And uh, one of those is the AIM-174B, which is here. And um, the What If Malagasy's uh, kind of resisted a lot of pressure. They went down a bit of a road with China with the J-10s, with the FC-31s. Went down a few uh, other avenues and uh, the Americans sent uh, What If Tony to come and see them. Now, no one seemed to listen to What If Tony, even though he said uh, there could be consequences. So the Americans pulled out the big guns and they sent Lindsey Graham. Um, and after a few uh, persuasive conversations from uh, What If Lindsey Graham, the uh, Malagasy saw the error of their ways. Um, one thing it had to do with was basically being cut off from the Link 16 and the Link 21 system. Not a good place to be in in modern networked warfare. So anyway, the What If Malagasy's have said, well, we don't like the F-35, but what else do you have in the cupboard? And Uncle Sam said, well, we've got this, which is the X-32. Now, Boeing, of course, were upset with the decision to buy the Rafale instead of the Borne. And uh, the X-32 is my chosen aircraft because it allows me to replace the uh, limited number of Harriers with the vertical takeoff version. And it allows me to make this the carrier version. I've added a uh, stealth triangled arrest hook um, thing. I've given it lots of weathering because these will operate on the carriers. Um, I've given it a targeting system, which I just need to do the windows for in gold. That's that triangle at the front. And I've just built it with an AIM or 174B long range uh, missile, a drop tank from the Bornet and a couple of Iris T's. Now it does have an internal weapons bay, which in this case, an air to air or combat air patrol configuration. It will have uh, two uh, AIM 120C6's tucked away in there. Now, like I said, I really like the F-22, uh, and this is weathered uh, as it's been on carrier trials. Now, these will be replacing the Rafale from 2035, so the Rafale still have a good um, 11 years to go. And I'm thinking of a very special replacement for the Buccaneer, which I'm going to keep secret for once. Now, this is uh, Kicking Kiki from the uh, Audrey 2's. And the Audrey 2s there with the Feed Me Seymour decal have been the first recipient of these 12 aircraft which are going to be on the carrier trials. So I've just painted a few things like the air refueling probe, added a few markings from the spares box. Um, and then, like I said, just weathered it because carrier aircraft just get filthy uh, immediately. Um, the kit itself is the venerable Italeri uh, kit, which they did in a twin pack with the prototype JSF and I absolutely adore this model. Um, it's not easy to build if you don't start at the front. So when you do build this model, start at the front. If you do, then fit and finish I found to be excellent. I didn't want to do pit 
Pitot probes, Pitot probes. So I added the F22 style and B2 style Pitot system there. I uh, chopped up a Bornitz um, undercarriage to make the twin uh, front wheeled naval version. Um, I've given it uh, some missiles from the spares bin and from Hasegawi weapon sets. And I've given it um, uh, FA-18 Bornit pylons. Um, I really, really, really do like this aircraft. I've got three more of these to build. Uh, they will be built um, possibly two flying in the naval role and uh, then one in the vertical takeoff role um, for the stern landers. The stern lander is a crucial part of my strategy. Now, the uh, naval version and the VTOL marine versions appear to have these external gun pods. The artillery kit is the prototype, but it's not the VTOL prototype. So I need to do some modifications when I make the VTOL one. I hope you like this. Um, I absolutely love this jet. It's like a Corsair gone wrong. Um, I think it's fantastic. I didn't want to build the one with the tailplanes because that looks too conventional. I really like the way that this looks. I really like the fact that I've been able to get that shine in the paint by using a touch of aluminium with the um, Valio camouflage grey. Um, and um, I had to just fill in the nose because I'm not using the pito probes that it came with. And the rest, this is just dark gross grey for the radar absorbent material stuff. And then just a ton of uh, Valio um, black wash just to kind of give it the Navy look because the Navy stuff just does get weathered. Uh, any operations on carriers just get weathered. And um, the homemade decals have come out reasonably okay. Um, they're still not perfect and I still need to work on some of my decal silvering, but we'll get there. And then I've just added that little bit there because it appears that there's some kind of APU outlet on the back. Um, and yeah, I'll paint that gold. Let me know what you think. Um, my plan, uh, and this is a video that I need to do a bit more on, is basically by 2035, I would like to have uh, the Air Force with, um, they'll still have a few legacy platforms, but not many, um, with the Mantellas, the F-44.5 Mantella, the uh, Baramai um, KF-21 or MF-21 and the Navy having um, the uh, X-32 and a secret strike aircraft to replace the Buccaneer. Um, people say that this is ugly. I don't think so. Um, is it as stealthy as the JSF? I think because some of the um, intake there, you can just see it, um, the face of the engine was visible i think people say oh it's not as stealthy as the jsf i get that um it didn't do as well in the uh pick but uh when you're a what if modeler I, I didn't want to just do another f35 and be another clone so i've decided to be another clone by doing the uh, x32 I, I stunning stunning aircraft i just i personally i'm a bit odd anyway um diagnosed with asd etc but i just absolutely love um this aircraft, I just think it's stunning. Um, yeah, it reminds me of my little Fiesta ST150 in that it's quite pugnacious and small. I think the Seymour, feed me Seymour, works quite well with the massive intake. If you can't beat them, just eat them. Take care, goodbye.